Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay, we're starting a new playthrough. It's a Troy Become Human. This is a highly requested game. A lot of people seem to really like this game and I want to know what all the buzz is about. I have no idea. All I know is that it involves androids. I don't know anything about the storyline. I don't know what about the... Yeah, I'm thinking top of my head. Maybe it's a detective android um, tandem that we're, we're going to play a detective and we're going to solve crimes with an android. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. This seems cool right off the bat. I mean, with the designs and everything. And I can't wait to just get started. So let's just play. Perfect service officer performs all maintenance of your home. Please and listen. Oh, this one I need. <laughs> I need the OA400. CP100. Can provide affection for your children so they grow up surrounded by love. Well, that's, that's kind of creepy though. Close supervision 24-7. Immediate analysis of any threat. Alert emergency services of any of the sign up. Well, does it know Kung Fu? Does it know Karate? I know Kung Fu. Optimize romance to a perfect relationship. Discover perfect love with the SK. Dude, what the heck? I think it's going overboard a bit. It, it's kind of going overboard um, the longer we wait in the loading screen. Dude, they had an Android for everything. Kind of crazy. Kind of also cool, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want a lot of them. Oh my god, Hello. look at how realistic Welcome she to the looks. Detroit experience. You can I'm even see the texture on her skin. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Yeah, I could believe she's human. I could believe this is this android looks like a human. Like it doesn't look too perfect. It she just you, you know what I mean? Like she doesn't look too perfect that it's intimidating. She, in a way she looks like she's just a pretty person. <laughs> Alright, wait. Audio language English. Text language English. Subtitle on. Small. Okay. Let's go for a small. Thank you. Dude, it's Thank so you. cool how now select your profile. she talks. It's like. It's a good. It's good. Okay, wait. Let me. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. A fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. I want to focus on the story with simpler controls. A more forgiving challenge with a fewer chances to lose a character. Let's go for experience. Let's 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 take up the challenge. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Bro, she kind of looks a bit creepy. Like creepily good. <laughs> Oops, wait. Let me fix up my frame rate. Ooh. Oh, oh, the like the girl at the title screen. She had the thing on the temple of her head, temple of her forehead. Go shade her on sight. Bro, is it? Am I playing him? I look cute. I look like Tom Holland. Okay, use the left stick. What's that? Interact. Put back. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Processing data. Dwarf Garami. Trico Gas. Choose by performing the right movement. I guess it's save it. Poor fish. Got caught in the crossfire. Oh, left bumper. Oh, yeah. Please, oh. please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're 
sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Why? What's wrong with me? I didn't do anything to you. Okay, so... So right off the bat, it seems like they don't like androids. Interesting. F bumper. Look around using the right stick. Ooh, look at the fishies. One, two, three. <sighs> Find Captain Allen. Hold right trigger to consult your objective. Oh wow. Look at the police men. There's like a lot of them. Oh, hi, wait, so we're gonna go there. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just get the order. <sighs> what are you looking at? Oh! Yo, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Like, the, the guy just tossed the bullet to the other guy, and that was so smooth. <laughs> I'm going. What are they pointing at? Is he here? Oh no, he's not in here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Talk. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Uh, let's ask for the deviant. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Tom Holland looks so, oh my god, good. Hi, okay, how about the behavior? Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. I'll take care of it. Bro, why are you so grumpy though? I'm just trying to help. Oh, maybe because I'm also an android and he's like agitated towards me, but understand what happened. Save the hostage at all costs. Locate the hostage. Understand what happened. Probability of success for the game. Use the right stick to move the cursor. Oh, hold Y to analyze. MS853 Black Hawk. Something rounds. Five five ammunition bullet reconstruct. Use left trigger or right trigger to review the reconstruction. You serve to move the camera. Oh. Deviant took the father's gun. Events analyze one out of one. Okay. Good. Yo. Oh wait, there's. Oh. Let's go in here first. Android, uh, acting up then. Listen. You 
Let's unlock the dialogue for action often beneficial. Child didn't hear the gunshot. If you love the life you live, you will live a life of love. Why why couldn't you spell you correctly though? <laughs> I mean it is a kid's room, makes sense a bit. guy he's <laughs> so cool One, two three four five six seven eight Whew, a lot to do okay let's do this fast john phillips is seized time of that 729 Oh, that's just like an hour ago. Damn. Bullet wound, lower lung hemorrhage. Oh, here. Left kidney perforated, fatal abdominal trauma. Oh, shocks. Upper lung hemorrhage, pneumothorax, 3.55. He got shot three times, dude! Oh, oh. Father was holding something, we wanted to search for a new. Yo, look at that android. Shocks. Okay. Dude, their tablets look cool in the future. It's basically see-through. gonna get wait so it's feelings got hurt because it was gonna get replaced or maybe it was being technical like i don't wanna be replaced oh, yo shocks ni ko nakita is he still alive oh he's still alive that's good that's good Child size shoes, color for a model, human blood. Hostage could be wounded. Yo! He took the kid as hostage! Ah, oh, yeah, at the start, the mom got, but I was freaking out. Fresh blue blood model PL600 serial Android movie. PL600. Oh, and the other one was 700. Analyze. DPD officer was first responder. Thanks. Gunshot shot residue led to only one shot. Oh, Deckard Anthony 588. Oh, wait, I didn't see that. Last time we was at 8.30. Oh, okay, half an hour ago. Oh, here. Right heart ventricle perforated internal bleeding. Oh. 
cop shot did he hit? Oh. Hostage with me. Oh, shocks. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I want to see this again. Let's reenact it a bit. So the kid was like, no. Oh, Help me, help me, officer! She tried to stop herself, but then he's the android saw the police officer was about to shoot, got shot instead. Then he shot the police officer in the lung. Weapon located. Yo, it's. Look at this, what's this? Cyber life, how cyber life and this change our world. Sync done. PL5447 American Androids Act. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Take put back. Well, I don't want to accidentally get shot because I was holding a gun, so... But I feel like it's gonna come in handy. See, so let's put it back first. This is history in the making, huh? Oh. What the fuck are you doing? I'm not going. See, now see, okay, 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 okay. I'm going out. Stay back! Don't come any closer, Roger. Oh. Oh, no, His face was so lifeless. Officer is right there. But you need to trust me. Officer, so let me first. help you. I don't want your help. Nobody Please. can help me. All I want Please is for all this to stop. I oh, yeah, I'm going to okay. stop. Uh, possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. What do they do with used androids? He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? But I'm going to us. apply a tourniquet. I mean, he has a point, though. Don't oh! Touch him. touch him and I kill you. Uh, ignore that. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Bro! Emma and you. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Um, 
That's it. That's Listen, being sympathetic. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. Hello, he's so aggravated. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Fine. Let's make him leave so that he'll trust the us a bit. Is under control. There. I did what you wanted. Nice. 93. Um. Let's trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Uh... How about... How about compromise? Let's compromise a bit, Daniel. Daniel, come on! Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Yo, that's not fair! That should die. be a hundred already! Uh... Oh, shocks. Let's just reassure him. I'm going to die. I'm just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. That's a lie. They're so good to shoot him. Okay. He already killed humans. I trust you. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> Yo, the kid's gonna be so freaking traumatized, I swear. This is the scenes flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each note earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nods and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. <laughs> Sniper shot even world. Oh, that's so cool! You can see the world. Uh, it's kind of like uh, The Walking Dead. Show legend. Cross impact not required for completion. Choice. Dialogue. Success, failure, event, death. <gasps> you mean to tell me I could have died? Really? Wow, they weren't kidding. Let's check out world stats. Talk to captain, save the fish. Okay, which leave cops gun. I'm guessing the other one is take the cop's gun. Oh, what if we took the cop's gun? Swat injured. Wasted too much time. I wasted too much time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Save wounded cop. Ooh. Nice. Friendly approach. Dismiss helicopter. Get co oh, what, what are these? Yo. This is interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't expect it to have like six different endings. I thought it'd be like two or four at most, but this is a lot. So I'm kind of like thinking what would happen if I pick the other endings, but I'm gonna stick with this one because I feel bad for lying to the Deviant, but I feel like I I had no other choice. Otherwise, he wouldn't have 
let go of the hostage or worse he would have shot her so that that's something what that i was worried about because we were handling the life of a of a 10 year old kid so i didn't want anyone to die on my watch but i'm kind of curious to see what would happen if i would have gotten the gun if i tried to uh what do you call this shoot him instead but I also ran the risk of getting caught that I was holding a gun and it's not allowed. So I might get shot myself. So that's a problem in itself. But I think, I think I'm think i happy with my ending. Overall, I'm happy with my ending. No one died. We, we successfully did our mission. So I'm going to stick with this. Anyway, I'm going to end the first episode right here. I hope you guys loved this. I hope you guys had fun. I hope I made the right decisions and that you guys aren't going to be chopping my ear off. But if I didn't, feel free to sound off down below in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, we are continuing our adventure. Adventure story of Detroit Become Human. Quick recap of what happened the previous episode. We basically met Connor. We Looks tried to negotiate. Today. I hope you're doing okay. Did she just say I look tired? Ma'am, I tried to look as fresh for you as possible. But okay, I feel like she knows that I am a bit tired. <laughs> but no, I'm excited. I, I want to keep playing Detroit Become Human. Last episode was pretty intense. And I'm pretty sure, obviously, since we we're just starting the game, we're gonna, they're going to paint us a picture more on what the world is like. This world where there's a lot of androids. And I think, um, gathering from the first episode, we're going to be playing as the androids. So we're going to see this game through the, uh, through the androids' eyes. And I wonder what kind of... I don't know if I mentioned this, but was, what? I like your interior decorating. You like my interior decorating? It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Aww. You're freaking me out now. <laughs> You're freaking me out a bit. Ma'am, they do such a good job of making you feel freaked out a bit, but also I am all for this. I can't help but wonder what kind of android I'm gonna get if I lived in this reality. Um, if you guys remember the starting screen in the last episode, they had so many types of androids from ones that teach your kids, take care of your kids, do the housework, um, your lover android, and even one that just accompanies you, your pet. Having two dogs, I can imagine just how much easier my life would be if I didn't have to wake up at 6 in the morning to take them out for a walk. <laughs> I think I need an android at home, but okay, maybe... I'm jumping the gun there because I feel like this story has a lot to offer and show us. What else do I love about the game? Oh, I love how it has branching storylines and it's, it's like there seems to be a lot of possibilities. They even mentioned it at the very start that you're not going to be able to get like 100% the first time around. You're going to have to replay it. And I like that because it just means that there's a ton of possibilities. I kind of wonder how many endings this game would have. So yeah, that's interesting for me. Whoever created this would have really thought of every single thing there is to consider. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Oh. Okay, let me tell you my life story. I'm kidding. No, but <laughs> anyway, with that said, let's just get started. Let's play some more Detroit. Let's find out how the story unfolds. Let's get started. Where's my controller? November 5. Oh, it's been three months. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two languages and diets. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Yo, look around using the right stick. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. We'll take it. An excellent choice, sir. Oh, wow. If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. 
excuse me. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more oh, expensive, but they it look has alike. many other functions. Oh, they're androids. Come along and I'll show you. The sales. I don't like this guy. People are also android. There it is. Oh, it was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. Yo, this guy looks Ready creepy. <laughs> Kara. My name is Kara. 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 Dude, I don't like that guy. Do we have to go home with that guy? Well, I, it seems like it. So... Oh my god, look at this title screen. Well, not title screen, opening credit. Minka Kelly is in this? Oh... And this is just in 2038. How I wish. Get yours today. Dude, I like this. I like the music. It's like a mix of peaceful but sorrow. Written and directed by David Cage. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this game's all about. November 5, 2038. Oh, that's the same day. Would you like to go home now? Go yes. to Bellini Paint Shop. Yes, I think that's enough. Here, let me help you. Oh, oh, thank you, dear. Oh. Oops. If I read. You can read the discovered articles in the extra section. Okay. Android perfect healing machines. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs. Oh, page one. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. Jason Graff. Director of the Humanization Department of Cyberlife unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic thinking was perfected, oh, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity, down to details that androids simply don't need, is the secrets of Cyberlab's design success. I mean, seems like it. All ethnicities. Yeah, we do see a lot of different ethnicities in the androids. Green Earth climate change. World temperature increased by 3 degrees since 2000. 
Climate change up, how the environment is changing American society, Miami to height and sea wall by further 10 meters. That can't be sustainable though. Climate change up. A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate is once top attraction like Miami, Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climactic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight, with all the services and amenities following richer customers. In That's alarming. Wow, look at that angle. Oh, look at that kid just hugging the android. All of the adults at the park are androids. Hey, water. Oh. You have run 12 miles and are 5 miles away from your boat. Whoa, he didn't even say thank you. What a rude... What a rude owner! What's this? So, the androids have this triangle mark on them. And... I'm guessing that guy's human. And he just called them idiot. Wow, why are people weak to androids? He just called him an idiot. What's that? Androids ruin. Our country, we want shocks. Shocks, I feel so bad for you. Let's cross, let's cross while we can. Press RT to use GPS. Retrieve order number 847 at Bellini Paints. Go to Bellini Paints. Oh, look, it's a charging station. Sandboard parking service. Spaces are available. Human music, one dollar to hear music with soul. Oh wow, I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna see something like that. Digi groceries change. Evil. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul? A pale copy of our creator. Why do you look at me so demon? What did I I, was... I know who you are. I was just looking at you, bro. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. I think um, everyone needs to chill. I mean, <laughs> it's not my fault I was born. Anyway, wait, now let me just double check that my frames. Okay. All right, we've got everything right. Just wanted to make sure. In the darkness, for the right moment to take Dude, the everyone's place. so mean to androids lately, and even it's just like I'm just gonna pause it to avoid anything happening. Even just the subtle 
nuances that I've noticed, like from the jogger not even saying thank you, or to that boss at the construction site that said idiots, that called them idiots. Everyone's so mean to androids. And even with that singer, I didn't expect to see a jab at androids there. But when I saw the uh, donate something $1 to hear music with soul, I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, it seems like everyone hates androids. And, but then again, they're androids. So I'm guessing they don't feel anything. But they, they might be like Gaia, you know? What's this with them like? Oh, real life models. We just okay. Auto resize adapts to your shape. Heating textile never be. It adapts to your shape. That's that's pretty neat. Wait, where are we supposed to go? Go to Berlin. Oh, here we go. Like the package. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. Oh. Payment confirmed. Yo, it's so cool. Complete. It's like online shopping. Be the switch camera angle. Oh, ah, this is the movie theaters. <gasps> that, oh man, that looks so cool. We're we supposed to go. Oh, there we go. But stop is not this one. Get yours today, Cyber Life. Designed by Cyber Life, assembled in Detroit. Oh, wow. Check it out. 35% unemployment, millions out of work. Are we going to do something? Yeah! Yeah! Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Yee! Yeah. Well, I asked for this, but okay, let me just see. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Wow! Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Yo. I wonder if he feels any of this. You just go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Uh... Oh, it's a taxi! Ooh, what does this say? Oh! 
It's the same guy from the paint shop. The stop is not this way. <laughs> oh, look, it's Cyberland. Let's check it out. No entry for purchase androids. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, that's that. That's it. Marcus took the bus. Protesters harass Marcus collect package. Oh, what did I miss? Read climate change, listen to busker visit, watch preacher, preacher yells. Marcus. Oh, I wonder what this thing at the top is. That's so crazy though. Like And of course, like the protesters would have gotten fine because technically he was someone's personal property, so it would be freaking annoying. But more than that, like I wonder if the android oh wait, Marcus, if I wonder if Marcus kind of like felt a certain type of way being kicked on the floor, or did he even feel pain? Like are they even created to feel pain like are are they wired to feel that but wow like i feel like this chapter was all about was trying to paint us a picture as the players that you know people on this planet don't like androids like 35 percent unemployment a lot of people didn't you know didn't like them and one can argue like why why are the un unemployed people why did the unemployed people just do that why didn't they just try to learn new skills so that they could get new jobs and it's like it's easier said than done like imagine if you're already in your mid-30s or probably late 30s and your job got replaced by an android i think even you would have a difficult time adjusting as well but hey nako but it's so easy to put the blame game on androids seeing that they're the they're the thing that's new around there and not the system as a whole i guess but anyway okay that was a good chapter we got 83%. I wonder what the other two thing I missed though. Okay, let's do one more chapter. Let's put this up. Ready, set, go. R B the switch camera and let's join tomorrow. Coming? Oh, oh, oh join died. Okay. Oh. Structural concrete. Can we zoom in? No, we cannot. Rebuild North Cork down a better place to live, Detroit City. Oh, what's that? Okay, an overpass. They're fixing up an overpass.
You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. Uh, okay. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. You... Okay. Hold RD to scan your environment. Collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. Oh, okay. Let's do that first. Let's go backyard. TV on. Take down the long. This is actually a pretty big place. All things considered. Okay, she's still not talking to us, even with the arrow, with the arrow up. Her relationship improved. Washed a lot. Dude, I like the, I like this freeze frame right here, and how we can just explore surroundings and see what, like, kind of like assess the situation. It's pretty cool. Okay, anyway. To wash the laundry. that red ice acetone red ice oh she me you shouldn't mess around with my stuff it makes me nervous i'm sorry Todd. you just stay the fuck out of my business unless you want to piss me off you want to piss me off no Todd. yo What a dick. It's not like I it's not like I was snooping around. I was doing the freaking laundry. Oh god, that scared me though. Let's only go in cup and move. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Activate vacuum cleaner, collect the dishes. Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, hockey. Oh. What are you looking at? 
Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. He's gonna Get the fuck out of here! I knew it. I knew I'll it. get back to work. Get mad at me. Sorry. Why is she always pushing me? Your dad's a bit of a dick. He's pushing. Let's get this. Oh, let wash dishes. Oh. Yes. oh. Yeah. Dishwasher not working, missing component. Maybe. Oh, that's so cool! Your you Andrew need. can just order what you need. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. Come here. Come here. She warmed up to us. Kara! Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer! Right away. Oh, of beer. Let's poison his beer. Written on the oops, it's written on the thing. shopping list milk, eggs, potatoes, STFDH. If oh my gosh, <laughs> it's the random letters that you get um, for when you're testing out a font. Oh, okay, collect trash and trash bin. So nice and uh you know oh, I like this character. Pick up take out the trash. Up. Credit card application form rejected invoice, Mr. Todd Williams. Harmon Bank overdone account notice account. Negative balance a thousand of it. Oh my god. It's stressing me out. I'm stressed looking at this. Um looking at all of this. To the street. Same thing, disaggregated. Okay. Okay, 
here. Return to Todd's house. Alright, got it. It doesn't want us to explore, it seems like it. Android power shouldn't it be outlawed but crazy the latest grounds for speculation Android power in its third game of the season Android pitcher x67 x67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 miles per hour mark the human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the catcher's glove androids were introduced as a one per team in the vision but they've come to dominate team strategy every draft sees the major professional baseball team breaking down their own transfer records to purchase the latest Android models, but is the game suffering? Jenny Waterfield, head of fans in Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sports is seeing the limits of human potential. Exactly! Exactly! Seeing the limits of human potential. I was about to say, a machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks Andrews are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. Okay. Century connecting... Oh, the transport innovation that's shaking up California. Let me just move that there. Connecting the dots. Politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Connecting the dots. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. Under two hours for... I mean, I would buy a ticket for that just to visit my friend in New York. In under two hours, less than half the five-hour flight time. The top speed of 1,800 miles per hour was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. For commuters, this raises the tantalizing prospects of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. I feel like the tickets would be freaking expensive though. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. California's property markets are reacting. Suburban prices up. First, Detroit takes our jobs. Then, New York takes our homes. When's it gonna end? <laughs> Everything's making sense, but also, like, what's the solution? You know what I mean? Like, hello. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is this is cool though. It's, it's an interesting tidbit. Ooh, yeah. can't see her face properly. Anyway. Dude, this vacuum is pretty cool. I want a vacuum like that. Anyway, let's finish up the first floor. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. <laughs> uh, taxi, business, class, and stuff. Okay. AX400. Clean upstairs. <gasps> Tidy Todd's room. Make bed, clean mess, ventilate the room. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's start with here. this up and then I'll read all sports Android quarterback cyber life 
American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusively human affair, but that may be about to change following CyberLab's recent unveiling of technical demo QB. Quarterback 1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing an, from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. Whoa. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 players from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB was revealed at a recent CyberLife exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding-edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans ruling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. CyberLife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort or sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time with basketball and baseball already contemplating android players a lead sporting quarterback might be just around the corner mm. i mean also baseball yeah like what we read downstairs tech addict the price of life how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions space tourism is mars your next holiday destination i don't even like flying and it's not because i'm afraid of flying but i don't like flying long flights I don't think I'll like I'll want to go to Mars. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to go to Mars. The price of life, how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. You want to know what I find interesting is that even though this game was created a couple of years ago and back then driverless cars weren't even everywhere. I mean, Tesla was just starting out, but now driverless cars is everywhere. Um, it's cool to see the parallel that I see with our world today and the world in Detroit on the game. Um, and how slowly but surely we're kind of inching towards this world where everything's going to be automated and we're, we're going to have to decide on where we draw the line on, on until where we put in machines. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's interesting. Now to sports. First up, basketball. As the Gears prepare for the critical match with Denver tonight at the CyberLife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one Android player per squad. Debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches or be the first step in making human players obsolete. CyberLife has announced its willingness to participate in the experiment by providing one specialized model to every team. Now, Androids are already used to train players and provide tactical advice for coaches since 2035. Okay. But no Android player has been permitted to compete so far. Oh, it just changed channel. Okay, let's just let it do its thing. Oh, this cartoon's pretty cute. It reminds me a bit of Kana. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, is that a Pegasus? Okay, just stop there. <laughs> Another 225,000 jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to 37.3. Yo! That's a lot of jobs. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new CyberLife plant near Milwaukee. At the event, the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. She further announced the Department of Defense will acquire 200,000 Android combat units as part of her increased military spending. Yo, Ted Farrow feels. But dude, if they're also, if the president's also buying Androids for combat, like I'm guessing soldiers, 
That means soldiers will be out of the job too. Like, where do you draw the line? Oh, what's this? Contains TNF and risk of behavioral disorder. Oh. And there is a gun. Good to know. Let's type this up. Dude, they are so lucky to have Kara. Okay, I already read that. Oh, what's that? Tight. Oh, the bills. Was that another poster? And we can't see what it was. I think I'm gonna get replaced. Watch it. <laughs> what a dick. Clean the bathroom, clean the restroom. Construction. Clean bathroom, arrange bottle, store dirty clothes. Kids, okay, die that up. Arrange bottles, tight up. Uh, why don't you close the thing? Why do I? F I think I saw something fall. Oh, dude! Look at Kara. So cool. Okay, use. Nice, look at how shiny the floor is now. But this is still a dirty bathroom. It's still pretty dirty though. Okay, so hi. It just the eyes of your room make bed bed late room. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Oh, okay, we were supposed to move. This. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Oh. Cool. Oh. Oh. Seems you like reading. She likes to read. Oh, what's this? <laughs> she draws on the walls, but her drawings actually are pretty cute. Let's make the bed. I need that. Go 
it's fine for me. You've unlocked the dialogue or action often beneficial. Talk to Alice. Wait, I want to check this out. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. My name's Kara. Your father said you chose my name. Kara? It's nice. How did you oh, choose Oh, she trusts us now! Mm, let's ask you about should tell me yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. about her mother because she died it was okay. leave her alone i can see you want some space i'll leave you alone Four leaf clover. Ah, oh, this is her family. I knew it was a dad that broke me. I, I didn't like him from the very start. He looks sketchy. Wait, maybe we can go get the gun. Joke, we cannot get the gun. <laughs> Let's just go down. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job. Take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Or whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. Yo. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Oh. Say it! You hate me! I feel like he spiraled if when, since the wife died. I feel like the wife died. Uh -huh. Or the mom died. Because she's not around. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Ooh. Wait, we 
got 96%? What did we miss? We missed something. Sayang. Sayang. That's a shame. But at least we know there's only one ending. Finish cleaning. I like this uh, chapter though because we got to clean a lot and it was very th therapeutic for me to see Kara clean the house even though it was a pretty messed up house but I love all of the little um, clues and articles that the developers left in each chapter uh, with Marcus and the second chapter and with Kara and the third one it's been really painted that we live in a world where androids are are very rampant, they're everywhere, they're widely used, and they're even widely hated because a lot of people lost their jobs because of it. But I feel like there's more to it than that. There's, we're going to go a lot deeper. Um, more than the jobs lost, more than... Uh, more than people being replaced because we saw people being replaced with their jobs, with sports, with the military. So it's really evident that a lot of higher ups or like people in power really would prefer having androids around than hiring human help. I also like how they show how your bond with the kid kind of gets better and I'm assuming it can get worse depending on how you talk to her. It's definitely a true blue choice based game because every single decision you make can have a cause and effect to it. So yeah, I like that. It's also a really cool detail that I like. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I'm having fun with this and I can't wait to keep learning more about what's happening in Detroit and what the story is here. Like, will there be a rebellion amongst the people who got replaced by androids? Uh, will the androids have to fight for their lives and all that stuff? But for now, I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.